Shalom, shalom. So there is a lot of downright strangeness happening with this TikTok talking about Eugenia Cooney, and I'm surprised it has not made its rounds on the internet of channels that have commented on her or built a following commenting on her like me. So I'm just going to go into it and play it very quickly. Thank you all. Your love has broken the curse and freed my soul. I'll never have to kill again. Okay, so not being very familiar with how TikTok contacts work, from my understanding is it scrapes the data from your phone on people you've previously interacted with, um, either through text or calls or whatever. And then when, if that person has a TikTok account, recommends, hey, you should add this person to your TikTok contacts so you can like privately message and all that other kind of stuff. Um, and on iPhones, it's very difficult to erase contact information, even from people that you haven't spoken or used in a long time. And even if you delete um, contacts from an iPhone, they they come back. I know because I've tried. And on my iPhone, I've had many iterations of many different phones. I, numbers and names will come back into my contacts literally over a decade since I might have deleted them or last talked to that person or um, changed phones. So it's really annoying and it's kind of just something you have to live with unless somebody else knows a way to permanently delete them so they never reappear. But I never figured a way to do that. Okay, so this person was like, why am I in Eugenia Cooney's personal TikTok contacts? Which basically means that her, Eugenia's TikTok account what happens, it, it recommended, hey, do you want to add these list of people to your personal contacts? Because by list of people to contacts, their TikTok accounts to the contacts, because these people who you've interacted through your personal iPhone messaging or calls now have TikTok accounts and you can add them in. So Eugenia saw that pop up and said, yes, adding this uh, Leah person to, or Leah Jean or Leah, I'm not sure how you say the name, to personal contacts. And it seems strange because why would her TikTok account recommend this person, seemingly a stranger, to add to a personal contact list on the TikTok account? So Leah Jean, this TikToker, is like very random. There's no videos that have really gone viral. Uh, this TikTok of her talking about Eugenie Cooney only has 24 views. No, no other videos went viral. She has no following. They're very random. They're nothing. Like, it's very unlikely that Leah Jean uh, popped up in Eugenia Cooney's For You page, especially being as big a TikTok as, TikToker as her. Uh, she would, her For You page would be showing uh, extremely viral stuff to give her more content ideas, probably in the makeup space. So it's unlikely Leah Jean's videos pop, had a reason to pop up in Eugenia's For You page, since her For You page would be very tailored, since she's a big TikToker, and big TikTokers have uh, For You pages that, again, show other big TikTokers and big viral stuff, again, to just keep feeding the algorithm and feeding the trend cycle. And so I'm wondering, I'm like, well, why did they have any prior contact? Like, what is going on? And then in the comments section of that video, someone re replied, what? And then Leah Jean said, we FaceTimed when I was in sixth grade. So this Leah Jean, the person who has this TikTok account, did confirm she did prior interact with Eugenia Cooney at one point, not through TikTok. Uh, so they, that means then you that the, her personal number was in Eugenia Cooney's phone or a previous old phone. And as I said, it is very difficult to delete numbers and information. I have numbers in my iPhone that, again, are going back over 10 years. It's very annoying. So um, this is interesting because the timeline, six, when we were... We FaceTime when I was in sixth grade. So I first thought, so they were both in sixth grade and they FaceTimed. I'm like, wait, Eugenia Cooney would have been in sixth grade in 2006. FaceTime did not exist at that time. And I, I don't think the iPhone was even out yet. 
So that can't be. And I thought maybe Leah Jean's misremembering. Maybe it wasn't FaceTime. It was some other video calling thing. But okay. So, but in Leah Jean's bio here, she says she's 23. I don't know if that means currently 23 or 23 when she set up her TikTok account because um, her first TikTok video is in 2019. So she was 23 in 2019 or added her age sometime a little bit later after um, her TikTok account was set up. So maybe in 2020, 21 or 22 or whatever. Either way. So that means that she is younger than Eugenia by a uh, about almost 10 years. And then again, this would have been, had taken place after FaceTime was introduced in 2010. And this makes sense because Leah Jean would have been in sixth grade sometime in the early 2010s. So maybe 2010, 2011, 2012, not really sure. And that okay, makes sense. But Eugenia would have been around 18 or 19 at this time. She would have been a, a new adult. What the hell is uh, somebody who's out of high school age talking to a middle schooler? What that is so weird. Why? I guess they might have connected over a video game, maybe Roblox, because um, uh, Leah Jean is clearly has Roblox videos. And I think Eugenia has played that at one point, or she definitely has played games or something else possibly. Um, but that is so weird, but it's something Eugenia would do again, because again, she's always kept very childlike. And again, if we remember the discord controversy of the groomers in there and how she just didn't see a problem and didn't react to it very well, she like doesn't see a problem with much older people talking to much younger people. Um, and it, so I, see again no sense of never having a sense of proper boundaries even at a very young age or also part of me wonders um well part of me wonders if her brother is hijacking her tiktok account and is her brother just like saw the pop-up and mass accepted the contacts and was fiddling with it. Cause I'm like, even if the, her Leah Jean popped up as a recommended contact, why would Eugenie Cooney accept it? Unless she just was like mass clicking, um, doom clicking or whatever without actually paying attention. Um, I don't know if that's a how it I don't think so. It doesn't seem like her, but her brother who's isolated sporadic and her, and she shares a lot of things with her brother. Like on camera, she's talked about, uh, having to order something for her brother. Uh, she's talked to, so it seems like they share a lot of things and maybe her brother has access to her TikTok account and was fiddling with it. So I, I kind of, am, I'm, I'm kind of partial to believe that. Uh, overall, again, it just shows no sense of social boundaries from a young age. And again, on um, behind the scenes of her TikTok account, there's just some very weird habits going on um, that don't have the most logical explanation.